Hello and welcome back to BE iLab. In this video, we will explore together how to train a deep learning model on the Eurosat benchmark dataset for land cover and land use classification. So, let's get started. In our previous video, we discussed the crucial steps of preparing the Eurosat benchmark dataset for CNNs. Now, we explain the architecture of the CNN model we'll build for land cover and land use classification tasks. This code begins by importing the TensorFlow library as TF and specifically the layers module from the Keras API within TensorFlow. Now, let's dive into the architecture of the CNN model we'll be constructing for land cover and land use classification. In the provided code, we define a function called CNN underscore model that takes the input underscore shape and the number of classes as parameters. We start by defining the input layer. This layer sets the shape for the input data. Moving on to the convolutional and pooling layers, the first convolutional layer, the conv1, is defined with layers.conv2d. It consists of 32 filters, each with a 3 kernel size and relo activation. Subsequently, a max pooling layer is added with layers.maxpooling2d, utilizing a pool size of 2. The architecture continues with a second convolutional layer. This layer introduces 64 filters with a kernel size of 3 and relo activation. Then we have a max pooling layer named pool2. This pattern persists with a third convolutional layer, con3, comprising 128 filters with a 3 kernel size and relo activation. The pool3 is the third max pooling layer used in this architecture. Following the convolutional and pooling layers, a flatten layer is introduced with layers.flatten. This layer reshapes the output, preparing it for the subsequent dense layers. Moving on to dense layers for classification, the dense one is constructed with layers.dense. It consists of 128 units with relo activation. Subsequently, the second dense layer comprises 256 units with relo activation. We utilize the softmax activation for the output layer, making it suitable for multi-class classification tasks and 10 neurons. Finally, the model is created using the tf.keras.model. This architecture integrates convolutional and pooling layers for feature extraction, followed by dense layers for classification, culminating in a model ready for training on the Eurosat benchmark dataset. Now that we've covered the architecture, let's explore the training process and key considerations. In this code snippet, we begin by defining the input underscore shape variable, representing the shape of the input data for our deep learning model. This is derived from the shape of the training data, x underscore train, excluding the batch size. The use of index 1 ensures that only the height, width, and bands are considered. Following that, we create an instance of the CNN model using the CNN underscore model function. To gain insights into the model's structure, we use the model.summary method to display a summary of the model. This report shows the number of parameters in the model. In the next section, we use model.compile to define the optimizer, loss function, and metric for the model. The atom optimizer is chosen. We set its learning rate to 0 0.00001. Next, we specify binary cross entropy as the loss function. Lastly, we determine the accuracy metric to monitor during training and validation. By calling model.compile with these configurations, we prepare the model for training. Now, let's delve into the training process. This code initiates the training of our model using the training data, x underscore train and y underscore train. The validation underscore data allows us to monitor the model's performance on a separate data set, x underscore val and y underscore val, during training. Then, we set the number of training epochs to 20, indicating the number of times the model will process the entire dataset. As you can see, we can track the loss function and accuracy values for both validation and training sets during training in each epoch. Now, here's a challenge for you. Experiment with different hyperparameter configurations to optimize the model's performance. You can start by exploring alternative optimizers, example, SGD, RMSPROP, or adjusting the learning rate. Share your findings in the comments section. Thank you for joining us on this exciting exploration of deep learning and land cover classification using the Eurosat benchmark dataset. 
you can find the code examples on our GitHub page. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. See you in the next video.